I just got lipstick on you, sorry. Is it normal to kiss makeup? <laughs> I'm obviously normal. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sitting down to film a favorites for you. I've been thinking about doing this video for a long time. If you watched my last video, I don't know if it'll be my last video, but the video where I talked about the toxic standards of beauty, I've just been really thinking about how I want to move forward with my channel and just beauty in general. And so I thought, what not a better way to come back than talk about my absolute favorites, the products that I love, I've been using for a very long time, things that just make me happy and confident. I do hope you will enjoy this video and perhaps have something to say in the comment section about some of these products that you may have tried or you haven't tried, but definitely share with us your thoughts. If you do like the video, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. And of course, do not forget to turn on the bell notifications with all notifications on so you don't miss any of my uploads. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to do this in sections. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is my eyeshadow palettes. There's two of them that I love. The first one is the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. I just filmed like a whole rant about this palette and not about this palette, about KKW Beauty, their newest launch. I don't even know the name of the palette, but I'll throw up a side by side right now so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm just kind of like, come on girl, get original. Anyhow, what I love about this palette is the formula, first and foremost, is Stunning. I need to try more from Colored Rain. I do also have the Safari Rain palette, which I like as well, but I gravitate more towards this color story, just the warm tones and those purpley shades and the shimmers in here are to die for. It is an indie brand. I really like supporting indie brands these days. And that brings me to my next favorite eyeshadow palette. And that is the Stilazi Darkroom eyeshadow palette. And this was created in collaboration with Jordan Liberty. If you guys don't know Jordan, he is a pro makeup artist. I've talked about him before on my channel. He is incredible and he has worked for so many companies doing the ad campaigns. He not only does incredible makeup artistry, but he does the photography as well. If you don't follow him on social media, definitely check him out. But this is what the palette looks like on the inside. I think right now when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I'm, I'm just kind of over them. Going forward with eyeshadow palettes, I'm looking for formula but I'm also looking for the range in the color story. So if I could only bring one palette on vacation with me or one palette to work with a client and do their wedding or show them how to do an everyday look or a glam look, something for date night, something with range, that's what I'm looking for. And this palette has it. You have on this side, it's like one complete color story right here. It's your warm tones. And then you look over here and you have your cool tones. To me, this is appealing to the eye. I can easily create a look. Also growing across this way horizontally, you've got a great combination of color. You've got, there's just, it's just a smart palette. It also has this wonderful combination of finishes. You've got mattes. You've got shears, you've got color shifters, you have glitters. It's just awesome. I do know that right now the palette is sold out, but Jordan mentioned that they will be restocking it very soon. I plan on doing a dedicated review of this eyeshadow palette. I don't know if that'll be my next video, but it's coming. So along the lines of eyeshadow, I did want to talk about my favorite eyeshadow primer. I've heard about this from a lot of people. I think Jay Kissa mentioned it but Vanessa Lopez, if you guys don't follow her, we started out around the same time, she's doing a great job, and her channel has really grown, but she has like raved about this product forever. It's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. 
What I really enjoy about this primer potion is it does really neutralize your eye area and the color of your eyelids. It also smooths everything out and holds onto your eyeshadow and really increases the color power and the color payoff of your eyeshadow. Lastly, I just have a lot of issues with primers like in the inner corners of my eyes as I've aged a little bit here. Um, it'll just grab onto the creases in my skin and it just always looks crepey and this doesn't do that. So I highly recommend this. Moving right along, I'm gonna talk about eyeliners and a lot of the products that I talk about in this video are on the more expensive side, but I absolutely love them and there are some affordable drugstore brands like the ones I'm about to talk about. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Pixi Eye Define Waterline Pencil and it's the Tight Line Black. I first heard about this from Jamie French who swears up and down about just using it in your waterline, it not budging and it being a true black and girl, you were right. It has replaced, I used to always use the Maybelline Studio Eye Gel in the pot, which I do like, but I don't wanna have to clean up my definer brushes every time I use my eyeliner. So I have been using this to tight line. I use it in the inner water rim below as well as above. Using it up above or any pencil for that matter to tight line, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, this is Awesome. Next up is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner Plus Serum and this is in the shade Ultra Black. I love the fact that it has a brush applicator. It's not one of those felt markery eyeliners. I feel like it's very similar but not to the Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner, but this is extremely affordable. I believe I picked it up at Walmart for about $8 and change. That was the cheapest place I saw it. As far as the eyelash serum aspect of it, I'm not sure that I've noticed any sort of change in my eyelashes, but I'm able to get super tight, have so much precision and control when I apply it. This is a new ride or die. Um, what should we do next? Let's do brows. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know what's coming. There is a trio of products that I use all by benefit. Precisely my brow pencil, the goof proof pencil, and then the 24 hour brow setter gel. I do have a few, maybe a couple eyebrow videos that you can check out if you wanna see how each works in more depth. The Precisely My Brow, I love to create small little brow hair like looking strokes as well as getting that tail really nice and defined. If you're gonna compare it to anything, it would be super close to the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but I like this formula better. The Goof Poof Pencil is what I use to fill my brows with, so it's not as precise, but it really grabs onto the hairs and it fills up that brow so nicely and seamlessly. If you're like me and you don't have a lot of brow hair, this is the way to go. That's just my two cents. And then, I don't care who you are, <laughs> the brow setter gel is so good. If you use a powder to fill in your brows, if you use nothing at all, this stuff, it just glides onto your brows, it helps shape them, it helps keep them in place, and it doesn't make them look like sticky or crunchy. I've tried so many other brow gels and none compare. When Ulta has their 20% off or Sephora has their VIB Rouge sale, I stock up on these because I know I'm going to use them. Let's talk mascara. I have used so many mascaras and I wanted to talk about a mascara that I know I can use top lashes, bottom lashes. It just makes my lashes look so good no matter what and that is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This has been around for forever. The first person I heard about it from was Jaclyn Hill. I know there's a lot going on with Jaclyn Hill. I'll get to that in a second but this is awesome. All right, let's move into complexion. I have used so many different primers and I love so many different primers, 
but I wanted to talk about the primer that I reach for the most, the primer that I think will work for most people, and that is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. First of all, I wanna say it is huge. This is a bit pricey for primer, I get it, but you use the smallest amount. I mean, the smallest amount. The way that it feels is just so different than any other primer. It's not sticky feeling. It's not greasy feeling. It's not, it doesn't really feel like anything on the skin. And that's why I think I love it. It's weightless. It's also really hydrating, at least for me. For oily skin types, it's not like it's going to create an excess amount of hydration and make you oily. And it works for everybody I've ever put it on. I've had this for, gosh, I don't know how long. And I'm just starting to like see the bottom of the pan right here. And I mean, around the sides, it's still pretty full. Anyways, yes, and I actually use this on my lips as well. Next up, let's talk about my newfound love, and that is the Benefitello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. I have looked everywhere for a foundation, a liquid foundation that works for me. I have a really hard time with foundation because of my freckles. I don't like anything that looks too heavy. I don't like anything that's gonna make my freckles look like they're grayed out, if that makes sense. I'm not trying to cover my freckles. I just want an even finished look, and that's what this does. It blurs everything out. It is super lightweight, but the coverage is actually really buildable. I wouldn't call it full coverage by any means. It's definitely like a light to a medium, but you could really layer this and get decent, decent coverage without it feeling like you're wearing anything at all. I'm really looking forward to trying. They came out with a brightening version of the Hello Happy Foundation. My friend Crystal K Beauty, if you don't watch her here on YouTube, you should. She just did a review on it and she raved about it. So yeah. Next up is concealer. And I have been trying lots of concealers lately and I keep going back to this one. And this one is super affordable. It's the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. I wear mine in the shade Porcelain. And I think what I love about this, besides the fact that it's super hydrating, it doesn't pick up like my skin, it doesn't make it creepy, you do need to set it. Otherwise, it will crease on you. And I have a great setting powder, like a wonderful combo. I'm getting to it. But it, honestly, it doesn't oxidize on me. And I feel like, and the same thing with that Hello Happy Foundation. A lot of liquid products oxidize on me. It's very true to color. If you need like a good neutral tone, this is great. I haven't looked to see if they've expanded their color range in the line. It was pretty pitiful, it was like three shades, but I love it. It's a great concealer that works for me, so I wanted to share it with you guys. And then how can I talk about complexion without talking about my pure four-in-one pressed powder? <sighs> I just got lipstick on you, sorry. Is it normal to kiss makeup? <laughs> I'm obviously normal. This powder you guys i have literally been using it since 2006 and what year are we in now oh my god let's do the math 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19. 2000 years later 13 years holy crap i need to take a moment i'm feeling old <laughs> Well, I started wearing this product when I started working for Pure. I don't work for them anymore, just here and there. They'll hire me as a freelance makeup artist when they're on HSN. We have another date coming up in August. I'll keep you posted. It's gonna be a really good show. That being said, back to the powder. This is your concealer. This is your SPF. It is your foundation and your setting powder all in one. I literally wear this most days without any kind of a liquid foundation and it is so quick and it is so easy and I feel like this is probably the most underrated makeup product on social media. If you go off social media and you talk to like the normal consumers and you look at reviews, it's highly, highly rated. If you just want one product just to even yourself out, if you're trying to get up, you've got to get to work, you've got kids, you've got school, and you just want a one, two, three, get her done, this is it. The formula also contains 
tons of hydration and skincare in it. I know when I was working for the brand a lot of times, people would be like, I'm dry, I can't use powder. And I'm like, you can use this? And they're like, no. And I'm like, yeah. There's vitamin E, there's ceramides, there's shea butter. It is so good. Okay, moving right along. The next three products I'm going to talk about are products that I first heard about from Jaclyn Hill. And I know Jaclyn Hill is just such a hot button topic these days because of everything that has gone on with Jaclyn Cosmetics, her lipstick launch, the way that she has handled it, and I really think it's a shame. She deleted all of her social media, and I'm just kind of hoping that she takes this time to reflect on what has gone down and how she can come back and make things right. I think this could be a huge growing opportunity for her. And so with that being said, kind of went off on a tangent there, but felt like I should just touch on it really briefly before I started talking about these next few products. So to set the under eye area, I am obsessed with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in the shade Lavender. Ooh, look how dirty that is. We'll hold it like this. The formula is so good, you guys. I'm not really sure exactly how it does it, but this is literally the only setting powder that I've tried that doesn't crease up on me. My under eyes look so good. When I use this concealer and this setting powder, I will also take it just because the color of it and it being lavender, it neutralizes those olive tones and it is brightening. Even if you're not olive toned, you can still use it. But like I was saying before, lots of products tend to oxidize on my skin and they get like a bit like yellowed out, a bit orange. And when I use this a little bit and just dust it everywhere, it really neutralizes it. So I love this and I recommend everybody going to try it. And I thank Jacqueline for talking about it in her favorites video. Next up is the Farsali 24K Setting Spray. No, that's not the name of it. Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist with 24K Gold Infused. It's just the Farsali Rose Gold Mist with 24K Flex in it, okay? I just shook it so there's like a ton of bubbles in there, but I was really reluctant when Jacqueline was talking about it in her favorites video because it's a $39 bottle of spray. I'm like, why can't I just use my Morphe $10 mist or I think it's $16. Well, I tried it and I get it. First of all, the first thing you're gonna notice when you use it, when you spray it, I definitely hold it kind of like down and spray up so it kind of goes like that, but it smells like oranges, I feel like, like this light, not like an overwhelming orange. I don't know, it's just really refreshing. And then the next thing I noticed is how nice and hydrating it is, but it's not oily, because I've used other, like the Tatcha, can't think of the name, but you know the Tatcha one that everybody is obsessed with. And that just made my skin, like that is really nice, I think, to prep the skin but as a setting spray, it was too dewy. This is just perfect. I was also a little bit nervous because when I was reading the reviews, people were saying it left gold flakes on their skin. I have not seen that at all. It's just perfection for me. I love it. I'm definitely going to be getting another bottle soon. And then the final recommendation that Jaclyn Hill gave me that I'm obsessed with is this handheld fan from Amazon. This was not expensive. It has three speeds. And I, I'm gonna turn it off so you can hear me, but these lights get hot over there. But I love using this to help dry the skin after you spray it. A lot of times, you know, if you don't and you're not careful and you look down, you'll get mascara. Also for lashes when I'm working as well, you don't wanna be blowing on your lash glue before you apply them. That's just really icky. When you blow, there's little like particles of mucus that you just, we don't need to talk about it. It's just transferring bacteria. So don't blow on your lashes and put them on your eyes. I just really enjoy this and I think this was a really great recommendation. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is a face palette and I have talked 
and raved about this before, and it's the Kevin Kwan Contour Book Volume 3. You can just literally do your entire face with this palette if you wanted. The formula is so good. This right here is one of their Neolite bronzers, and it's in the shade Venice. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of get my brush all over in it and use it as a bronzer. But then I'll get like a smaller, more dense blush brush and I'll concentrate it right around here. And that's what I have on as blush today. And then just right over here, I kind of use it on the apples of my cheeks. You probably can't see it through the camera, but there's just a very faint shimmer it's not like a, a true shimmer it's more like a pearl it looks really good and it shouldn't be emphasizing texture which a lot of times like if you were to use like a blush topper for example eh, this is really nice and natural and then you have your three contour shades if you're gonna contour i just can't imagine using anything else these are just such great colors like they're not too warm they're not too cool they are the perfect shade and this color right here i often use on my eyes because you can contour your eyes as well with these i use all of it and then the highlights they're not blinding by any means but they're both beautiful colors and if you did want to amp them up you just spray your brush a little bit first with like a fix plus you could even use your farsali spray if you're going to try that and then go in and it will make it a more blinding type of highlight. But for every day, I think these are really, really good when you don't want that look at me from space glow. Now, if you did want more of a blinding highlight, I love the Ofra Feeling Myself Trio. This is the old packaging. I'll have to like throw up a picture of the new packaging, it's white but you're getting three of my favorite Ofra highlighter shades in here. You're getting Blissful, Pillow Talk, and Rodeo Drive. Such good colors, you guys. Today, I did do more of a lighter dust of Pillow Talk and Blissful, just blended on my brush, and that's what I have here. I have just Pillow Talk in my inner corners. I think I reach for this palette the most of all of my highlighters. I just love them. Has to be the creamiest of formulas I've ever tried. My favorite lip, you had to know this was coming, but it is the City Lips Matte Liquid Lips. My all time favorite shade in here is Blush Rose, which is this one right here. And since I started using these, I can't use any other lipstick without putting this on top of it because the formula literally just smooths out your lips. I also have a lot of lines right here so like if i'm gonna overline all of my lipsticks kind of just go into those lines and start to bleed it's just not a cute look i can't say enough about it it is very expensive i have an affiliate code if you want to use it i believe it saves you 10 or 15 percent it's just aj attain beauty and I don't want to like throw that at you guys, but I really think you guys should try it and I think you will be amazed. I have a dedicated video to this too. It was right after I tried it for the first time and I was just like, holy crap, this is like the most innovative lip or makeup product I've tried because it is so different the way that it feels and looks on your lip. Just think about it. It's so good. And then I want to talk about gloss. I know like the glittery type of lip gloss look has been in for a little while. I've tried a couple and either they're sticky, like tacky feeling, or they're gritty, like you can feel the glitter in it. And that's just, mm. or they're just too much. Like it's, it's not like a cute look at least in my opinion, for a 37 year old. And these are not new. The Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Glosses in Virgo and Pisces. I don't even think if I swatch them, you would be able to see the micro glitter in them, but oh my gosh, they're so pretty. This has a silver fleck in it. That's Virgo and this is Pisces. The glitter goes from like a pink to a purple shift, but not in an obnoxious way. It's, I just, it's so pretty, you guys. And then finally, I had to talk about my favorite nail product. I am still so super obsessed with the Dashing Diva Magic Press Nails. 
It's what I have on right now. This particular style is limited edition. I don't know if it's still available on their website. All of their magic press nails are so awesome. I just realized today, you guys, there's numbers. Each size nail is numbered on the tab. I'm like, Allison, you just peel off the sticker, press them on. I have a video showing how to apply these. I think I was using the Impress Nails at that time, which I still love Impress Nails. Also, they're very similar, but the Dashing Diva ones I think are better quality. And if you don't want to wear a fake nail, then I would highly suggest trying the Gloss Nail Strips. I'll show you a picture of what this style looks like on my nails. I did do a video applying, I think it was, it wasn't this style, but I definitely showed you guys how to do these, a tutorial. These last like two weeks and they're a gel, kind of like as opposed to a nail polish so they don't start chipping or wearing away. You just use a little cuticle oil, like nail oil, and just lift them right off your nail. It's a no-brainer. That does it for my favorites. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This was fun for me to get back into talking about the makeup that I love and why I love it and just sharing it with you guys. If you did enjoy it, I hope you'll give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. Finally, definitely turn on that bell notification with all notifications on so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.